Hello, welcome to another episode of Serious Expert Painting Analysis and today we're an analyzing Pablo Picasso's Lover in a Beret. This is a beautiful painting he painted uh, of his actual mi mistress that he met 10 years prior in Paris. So I was thinking, uh, seeing as his lover was French, do you think she came up with the idea for him to paint her like, draw me like one of your French girls? So it's a nice painting, it's uh, what you would probably expect from Picasso, peculiar shapes, uh, disproportionate eyes, but still it's an appealing painting, isn't it? I quite like it, it's very colorful and unique. So the first thing that strikes me immediately is this pattern, so you have this peculiar pattern here, uh, on the nose apparently, and on the chin, and then again on her shirt, I'm guessing. So the first thing, this reminds me of, you know the phrase, um, Lego people live in houses made of their own flesh, since sure. apparently her, her nose is made of the same material that her shirt is also. Yeah, that's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's funny, but it's weird. Another thing, what's interesting is she has orange eyes. I don't know if I've ever seen a person with orange eyes. Well, it's a Picasso thing. Yeah, then again she has blue lips. Although you wouldn't expect them to be blue since my first thought of this painting is that it's warm. Since uh, looking at, you know, this part of the painting here which is yellow as well as uh, these parts here. I would expect there is sun shining here on the left and then um, it's, a, it's warm weather or a warm temperature yet she's blue lipped and cold. <laughs> Well, she has a beret. Oh, so you think she's covering her head because she's cold? No, it's a fashion statement, definitely. <laughs> yeah, okay, what about the cheek? What does this cheek remind you of? Well, to be honest, it kind of reminds me of that movie, you know, that horror movie. Um, Jig Saw. Jigsaw. Exactly, his Saw. name is Jigsaw, yeah. yeah, the movie is Saw, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of that puppet in Saw. Yeah, so Picasso had a peculiar taste for women. <laughs> Yeah, so one other thing, this part here on her chin, is it just me or does it look like a mirror? Maybe. <laughs> so, you know Picasso was a short guy, so perhaps when she he was dating her, he wanted to look at himself in the mirror while, when he was with her. <laughs> does that make any sense? It does not. I'm not sure what that <laughs> thing is. But it does look like a mirror, <laughs> now that you mention it. Okay, so another striking thing on this painting is her nose. So, looking at this part here, so this is the shadow of the nose, obviously. The first association I have with the nose is Peppa Pig, of course. I, I guess everybody's thinking of Peppa Pig. But the other thing here I'm thinking now is, you're the father of Powerpuff Girls, and the way his, no his nose is drawn it looks just like this. Yeah, this being a Picasso, I think we can analyze and, uh, you know, have a philosophy class on this painting and it's a never-ending story. So I'm guessing uh, it's best we move on to grading this painting. So, uh, in terms of aesthetics, do you like this painting? Uh, yeah, I quite like it. I'd give it a high grade. I think I'd give it like a, an 8 out of 10. I definitely agree with you. An 8 is a perfect grade for this painting. In terms of colors, it uses a lot of colors. Uh, I think a 9 is suitable. Okay, I agree. Difficulty to paint is an interesting one. So, I don't think this is a difficult painting to paint. Again, I'm not sure whether I would be able to do it as uh, it's done here. So, uh, maybe a 5? I don't know. I was thinking about a 7. But okay, let, let's meet in the middle. Yeah, okay. Huh? Meet you in the middle then. Uh, a 6 out of 10 for difficulty to paint. Watchability factor, now I think this is a huge one, so I could look at this painting for quite some time since it's nice to look at, colors are nice, and this one has this peculiar stare, it's looking into my soul, <laughs> I don't know, uh, in terms of watchability I think it earns an 8, what do you think? Yeah, okay, I'll go with an 8. Living room nest factor is up next, would you put this in your living room? Yeah, I probably would. It's a really nice painting, definitely a talk piece. I absolutely agree. 
and I love it. And in living roomness factor, I think it is a nine out of 10. All right. In terms of size, this painting is a uh, 22 inch high. So it falls under a category one for size. In terms of price, this is a Picasso. So of course it's practically priceless. Uh, at a last auction I'm reading on the internet, it fetched some uh, 70 million dollars. And I'm guessing we can easily give it a nine out of 10 uh, on the price scale. So that about wraps it up. Uh, today we've looked at this beautiful painting by Pablo Picasso. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day.